Compliance Kitchen podcast. This is Sylvia, and today let's take a look at a recent Justice Department sentencing that is related or arising out of something that the Compliance Kitchen follows, which is export regulations. So this was on July 22nd, uh, 2021, the DOJ issued a release of a sentencing of a California man who received more than five years in prison for his role to illegally export integrated circuits with military applications to China. As part of his sentence, the judge ordered him to pay in excess of 362000 in restitution to the IRS and fined him $300,000. So more in detail uh, on what uh, took place here, the release explained that the defendant was convicted to uh, one count of conspiracy to violate the International Emergency Economic Powers Act and the Export Administration Regulations, or EAR. And also, uh, he was convicted of four counts of mail fraud, two counts of wire fraud, one count of conspiracy to gain unauthorized access to a protected computer to obtain information and uh, one count of making false statements to an FBI agent, three counts of subscribing to a false tax return, and four counts of making false statements to the IRS about his foreign assets. According to the related court documents, um, this defendant was the president of Chengdu Gustone Technology Company, uh, that's a Chinese company that was building a facility to manufacture semiconductor chips known as monolithic microwave integrated circuits or MMIC in China. The MMIC chips have uh, both commercial and military applications. Now in 2014, the company uh, the Chinese company was placed on Commerce Department's entity list. And then the defendant, um, so being placed on the entity list means that the company was now subject to licensing uh, per, uh, permissions or export licenses uh, by the Commerce Department. So then um, the president of the company and the defendant in this case defrauded a U.S. manufacturer of broadband high-powered MMICs out of its confidential information uh, as well as proprietary business information. He, the defendant accessed the manufacturer's web portal after he obtained access to the portal through an, through an associate who posed as a domestic customer and claimed that he would be using the chips uh, domestically only. Uh, domestically meaning in the within the U.S. And now the defendant's intent was to export the chips to the PRC or to China. And um, the chips that he exported were intended for AVIC 607, which is a state-owned company in China. All right, so this is, again, a summary of... Uh, of this action, of this enforcement action. If you guys want to take a closer look, I have a link on compliancekitchen.com or you can find the release on the Justice Department's website as well. As usual, thanks for stopping by in the Compliance Kitchen. Mm -hmm.